It's the Christmas season, Rex. In the whiskey vault. Fa la 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 la. And you know what that means? Punch. No, not punching. This is not a physically violent show where there are children watching, Rex. <laughs> Emotionally, oh. there are children watching, Rex. Bunch of stunted man babies. <laughs> <laughs> you have found your people. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so here's the thing. This is a. I hate punch. Right. By the way, I hate all the free drinks. I never liked fruit punch. I didn't like sun kissed. Right. I didn't like the little Capri Sun things. Dude, you're, up. Just, you're just naming all the best things for my child. I don't like Kool Aid from my childhood. No, no, I was an old man when right. I was born. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but now this punch, I could get behind. Okay. This is Aaron. They right. did a special edition series oh. called The Devil's Punch Bowl. That's over in Scotch territory. Yeah. All now right. look at this. Now, what region is Aaron Angels and Devils. I want to show you. Here, set this out of the way. Aaron, this is Isle of Aaron. Aaron. I know. I'm not. Aaron. I'm prompting you with the question. You're straight manning me. So and I dropped the ball. <laughs> Where is Aaron from, Daniel? What region of Scotland? Who knows? No, it's in between Campbelltown and the mainland of Scotland. Yeah. Down south, about even with Glasgow. Okay. And a little south of that. All right. And uh, it's an island. I'm sure that. And there's sure only that. one distillery. You yeah. ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to open this up. Look at this. First, it describes what they did, oh. right? And James McTaggart. What did they do? Should we read? Yeah, yeah. Chapter two of the Devil's Punch Bowl is a true contrast of light and shade. Hence the title, Angels and Devils. The 1997 and 1998 hogsheads I've chosen provide the foundation for this whiskey and had a rich and satisfying depth. These are the finest ex Oloroso Spanish oak casks and their influence is unmistakable with a distinctive spicy character, notes of cigar box and dark chocolate. If the sherry casks are darkness, then the 2002 barrels bring a ray of sunshine to the proceedings with soft vanilla notes and more of the typical Aaron citrus okay. emerging. Okay, all right, all right. Especially with a dash of water. <gasps> you dare, sir! <laughs> Finally, our oldest peated Aaron casks from 2004 bring an earthiness not found in other releases of the Aaron malt and add further to the complexity and the intriguing concoction slanja. James McTaggart. Now, you want to see what else is in here? Check this out. Better be a whiskey. The whole recipe. Every cask, oh. every cask used what? in this bottling. Look at that. Okay. How cool is that? All right, now I got you. Oh, we'll do a picture. I'll put a photo there. All right, you guys are ready. This is truly full disclosure, and I think it's the coolest shit ever. From Justin Jesser. Justin Jesser, you magnificent. Bastard. <laughs> Now, Justin is just a true kick-ass human being. This is actually an older release from Aaron. They don't have it anymore. Look how light that is. That is... With casks dating back to 1997. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, you really... 97, dude. 97. That's when I graduated high school. Yep, yep. Super and old. the the weight of that uh, swinging cod that comes out of that glass. Years. That comes out of that glass. That light of a color... But that much, that's what it is. Yep. 22 years as the oldest barrels and 15 years as the youngest barrels. Mm -hmm. So if this had an age statement, it would say 15. Oh, man. Uh, so it's still that musty, earthy fruit that you always get from Aaron. Yeah. But surrounded by this really dark fruit note. Musty, earthy. They're right. I, I mean... Son of a bitch if it's not power of suggestion, but there is a fight in this glass between dark, rich notes and this light spice. This whiskey tastes like... It does. It's a, The nose is fighting with itself a little bit. It's got the dark cherry notes, but it also has the bright spice pepper earth notes. No, it's complex. It is a very complex nose here. And I think the very first note you gave was like an earthy fruit. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then, the more I went back to it, the more I lost the earthiness and the fruit just became more and more dominant. You ever actually go then, into an orchard and like collect apples or collect fruit from an orchard? Because you get that mix of fruit that's fallen on the ground because it, it uh, got ripe too soon mm -hmm. and it's now that musty earth note right. mixing with the fresh fruit that you're picking yeah. and the green uh, of oh, the tree. Oh, I can see that. You see what I mean? It's yeah. an actual orchard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I haven't been in an orchard since I was a kid. I'm a grandparent. Oh, son of a bitch. If the peat didn't take over, the What, really? <clears throat> At the very end. The fruit took over so thoroughly it became candy. It, yeah, but... I'm struggling to find it. It went super sweet, and then the pepper at the end of this thing sort of went 
exploded mm. for me. No, no, no. I'm Swirl not... it around. Do you just drink it? Swirl it around a little bit. My method <laughs> is both precise and classy. Mm. You and your swirl, you heathen dog. Woo! What's the proof on this thing? This is uh, 53%. I'm gonna add a little water, as Mr. McTaggart recommended. You want some? Or are you still exploring? I'm it's still exploring. so good when it's unwatered. I, you said you found peat? At the very end, and when I add a little water, that's subdued a little bit. But it's, the, it's not the lingering aftertaste, it's right before you transition into lingering aftertaste. There's this. <laughs> you wanna compare it to a classic Aaron? Yes. Because they can get classic Aaron. Okay, let's compare it to the one that everybody can get. The odds are gonna be high on either the Aaron 10 or the Bothy, B-O-T-H-Y. So I'm gonna use the 10 because it's closer to a defined age statement for getting into the 15 to 20-ish. Oh, it's the same fruit. It's, again, that distillery profile is strong. I just put some water in the devil's lunchbox mm -hmm. and <laughs> it lost some of the sugary sweetness. <laughs> it's the devil's lunchbox. <laughs> oh, punch bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture a little kid with like the little clasp metal lunchbox like the devil's theme. lunchbox, right? <laughs> it's, it's the devil, he's going to school. <laughs> Had a note. Did you give him a note, Rex? Okay. Uh, so are you his mom? It actually came <laughs> actually became less dynamic and mm -hmm. full bodied fruity whenever I put some water in. Yeah, it's a little flattened sweetness and then the pepper. It became a little bit drier and then Now try the tin. Because you try the tin and you go, oh yeah, that's what we're drinking. Wow. That's Aaron. Um, but I'm getting a little bit more style of a, guide wise. A little bit more of like a like a savory, yes, almost a buttery note on the nose here. Yes, I totally agree. And it's not the same mix of things, but once again, you recognize oh. Oh. where all the fruits coming from. There is a savory, buttery, sweet element. Yeah, like a pastry. Whenever you come right off the heels of the Devil's Lunchbox, especially. Yeah, the tin is. <laughs> You can't go to the lunchbox. <laughs> I don't know why it's catching me off guard. <laughs> Just wait till I tell you about God's Trapper Keeper. <laughs> Did you just think of that? <laughs> <laughs> the, the tin is lovely. I love the tin. This is, this is perfectly nice. It's just so comparing these two. <laughs> Daniel needs a moment. I do. I don't know why this is so funny to me. We haven't really had that much to drink today yet. Tin's perfectly lovely. What you're not going to get in the tin is going to be <laughs> this rich, ripe, very, very sweet fruitiness from <laughs> the travels. From the trapper keeper. That's <laughs> trapper keeper. <It's> the, uh, <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right, let's get to the, to the comments here. Dan is going to collect them. <laughs> they have pastry bear. <laughs> if you were introducing someone to scotches, what regional progression would you use? Mm. Maybe lowland to highland to space side to isla? Just curious. We actually did a whole episode on the Whiskey Tribe channel or yeah. other channel. How to introduce your friends to scotch. I'm going to link it right here. And but what do you suggest in terms of progression? Well, okay, so here's the thing. Because the second comment, if you want to read it, uh, Andrew Bentz is going to totally discount my recommendation. Followed your instructions on how to get my friends to start drinking whiskey, and out of three of them, two decided the best whiskey is from Isla after <laughs> the first time trying it. Tears were in my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. So my, if, I mean, just, That means you have good choice in friends. And it really, it depends. So I, I would have started right. with Lowland or Speyside. Mm-hmm. And then worked my way into Highlands and some Pete and then Isla and Campbelltown. Sure. If I was doing it. Speyside, Lowland, Highland, sure. Isla, Campbelltown. I, However, right. over and over I meet people who have that experience. Mm -hmm. It's like, look, I poured all these scotches and I was like, eh. And then someone poured me Isla and I went, well, what were we waiting for? Because, look, because, I'll, I'll tell you right now. This is going to be... The outlier, memorable thing. Whoa, that was surprising. Yes, it's remarkable. Nobody, nobody expects a person to go from zero to band-aids and smoke and bacon yeah. and earth and rubber, just like that. And when it happens, it's like, oh, boy, that takes up all the headspace. But you forget about, I, in my estimation is, 
Seven out of ten to nine out of ten. Yep. Do not go for the Islas. Yeah. Out of the gate, especially. I have a new recommendation. Out of the gate, they they can eventually get there. But if you're do if you're rocking like three out of ten, well, those three just two by my friends, and it's just amazing, and they went for the Islas. But it's like most people aren't there. I think my best, and it's really not you know precise, but my best criteria for whether or not I think a person is going to enjoy Isla, do you perhaps go for really hoppy beers, spicy food, or drink your coffee black? And if they like, meat, yeah. yeah, if they like those like big, not sweet at all, kind of challenging, robust walls of flavor. They might like a heftier whiskey. Yeah. I have a new recommendation. If you are serious and not just like, hey, you have a gathering, you want some whiskey or not. Right. So forget about that. That's off the table. Right. Say so you have a group of friends you really want to introduce to whiskey. Right. And you've made a thing of it. Hey guys, come over. I'm going to I'm going to introduce you to whiskey. Sure. Pour them all five. Oh yeah. Pour them all five regions. Let them smell. Right? Let them decide what their entry into scotch is. Yeah, you can do that. Let them smell. Most people though, like you could do that. Most people though, you could do that for if they have bucks. zero experience. They're going to have silly thoughts like is this the right one? Am I drinking it right? Should I hold it a certain way? That's where you take the Am edge off. Am I smelling off. it the there's right no way? way? They need to know, like, look, there's just not a wrong or right way for you to enjoy it, especially at the beginning. You can tell them that the reason you're putting out five is because you don't know which one they're going to fall in love with. Yeah. What and are you gravitating to, towards on that? You're trying to give them the whole spread. You're going to try all five, but right out of the gate, what are you leaning towards? Mm -hmm. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. You steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. With us.